Hello, friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again. Hello, hey. Once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live. Uh, hi, John Webster, you out there? Call. Call me, John. Your phone is uh, out of commission. I'm trying to talk to you. Where in the world did John yeah. Webster go? Where in the world is John Webster? The Carmen San Diego has more syllables. Uh, and uh, thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. What do you got? Jen? PBJ. Oh, yeah, you said you eat a lot of those. I love them. Yeah, is that a folded? Is that just like a one piece of bread folded in? It's a happy. Whoa. Yeah, it's like almost a. Oh, it's almost a hot dog mm -hmm. or something. Does it still count as a sandwich if it's one piece of bread and then you fold it over? I was going to cut it in half again and make them finger sandwiches, but I realized that was just too much. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? Um, kind of. Yeah. Uh, what about that thing? If you fold it in half, does it still count as a sandwich too? It's like, does it need to be two separate breads? Because definitely you get a hoagie something. It's one piece of bread. Just cut it up with a fold. Stuff stuff in there. Uh, hi, Alex. Hi. Uh, you're here. Me and Jim were here yesterday. You guys are here a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. Just got off of work. Great to be here. How are you? Real good. How, how was uh, my friends uh, do, uh, went to bingo at your work yesterday? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Did you facilitate that at all? No, I did not. I was stuck uh, working on the gym floor. Mm. But I heard that uh, it, like, they had the biggest crowd so far, like their record, it was like, I don't know, like 280 people or something. Whoa. Something like that. Yeah, usually they get up around 200, but I guess it was a big one. It was like a Beatles theme, mm. which I wouldn't have been down with anyways, but yeah, I don't like themed stuff. Well, how about the Beatles? They're overrated. Yeah, me too. I think so. Best. I, yeah, I agree. Um, the yeah, my friend said that there was like a, they had a lot of drinks and stuff, and it was like at at the senior center. I was like, really? Yeah. They're drinking at the senior center, huh? Yeah, the senior <laughs> services make like, like hundreds of Jello shots. <laughs> it's like, and the senior, senior old people fucking get drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's real yeah. talk. It's funny, dude. There's tons of spills. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I haven't gone to bingo, but I've worked it a bunch of times. Yeah. And they uh. Yeah, they like they like Jello. I think. I mean, traditionally old people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool that the old people, like seniors, like you know, get out there and like start acting like teenagers again for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get all drunk and like they, play bingo. When, <laughs> when the bingo round is over, they all crumple up their page and like just throw it. <laughs> yeah. So by the end of the thing, it's like just stack the crumpled up papers on the floor in there. It looked pretty popping in there. I like went past it on the bus on the way here, and I like looked in there, and I was like, ah. Bingo. I like bingo. I might go next time. I heard. Yeah, I like bingo. I guess it's kind of fun. I suppose. I went to play bingo one time at a casino, and I was so stressed out that I was like pissed off, and it was no fun. Why were like, you so stressed dude, out? Dude, at a casino, it's like, they're like, they call out the numbers weird. They were like, I don't know, like, I could barely hear. And like, I didn't know if I was, you know, they like, we like had like a bunch of game cards. And I didn't know which game card we were on. And I was just like, well, this is fun. Hmm. There goes $20. Yeah. Gambling is fun, but it goes by so fast. Like, it maybe, like, wall, like, bingo is like, you play roulette, but in, like, the spin... Like the ball is spinning for like 10 minutes. You get the spinning ball feeling. You're like, ooh! You know <laughs> so then you get that for much longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get the gambling rush. 
You don't get it? No, I do not. It's like... I don't gamble. I don't like it. Well, the bo- I like gambling. Probably, well, I could like it more, I guess. Not, I was going to say I like it too much. Probably a little bit too much. <laughs> but some people like it more than me. But that ball's going. I like roulette. While that ball's spinning, you could be rich. Or not rich, but just have like $3. <laughs> or whatever, you could be a winner or something. Not that I want to win anything, but you're just betting against yourself and the ball's going and you're looking at, the, looking at it go and, and it's in the middle. That's uh, the 30 seconds of your life. That sounds dedicated like zero to, fun. Yeah? <laughs> Watching so. that ball go, it's all about the ball for 30 seconds of your life and you can float, float around in the world. Then you lose. <laughs> yeah. Right. Then it's soul crushing. Yeah. And then, then you go home with no beer money. Yeah. It's fun though, kinda. I'm probably I probably lost hundreds of hundreds of dollars gambling Ooh. in my life. Definitely down to I buy scratch tickets and gambling and poker. Maybe I should start gambling. You're not supposed to gamble on the program. But, uh, or like on TCTV, I guess. Probably gamble on YouTube, though. <laughs> I like to, I don't really like sports, but sports are fun if you bet on them. Then you're invested. Just, just bet yourself on the horses. Yeah, I should probably start getting into sports betting or something. But With then just I, yourself, though, so that way it's, you don't lose any money. Who am I betting? You. Just, just bet, bet yourself. Bet myself? Yep. And then, like, if I have the money, oh, oh you know, then you don't lose money? Yep. But you don't make money either. Nope. Might be fun, though. I mean, I'm just going to bet. I'm just going to put these five, like, get $5 and say, like, well, then I'm going to lose, lose it either way. Let's mm-hmm. say if, if I lose... I'm gonna give this five dollars to a street person. If the if the if the like the whatever team doesn't win this time, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna chop off one one of my fingers and give five dollars to a homeless person. There you go. Yeah. Yep. And then the game will be very exciting. But you still have to sit there and watch the whole NFL game. Though. Yeah, that's too much. Problem. That sucks. Yeah. Or you do the refresh where you just like. Yeah, it's not fun, but it it makes it fun though when 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 there's something riding on it, because then you're actually invested. Yeah, that, so. yeah, it gives you like the spark of interest to like keep your keep interest. Yeah. So like, oh, we're winning. Stay awake. Yeah, I don't I don't watch another one. All right, when was the last time you were here, Alex? A couple days. Was it Monday? A few days ago, whenever uh, Bird was here. I think it was Monday. We looked at that at a tape yesterday. Mm-hmm. Might have been Monday. Mm-hmm. And you brought your uh, the, sign. Uh, the the Tumwater Needs a Skate Park sign. Mm-hmm. It's um, right. John told us yesterday about going to city council. Yeah. And that there's a video, but you don't want to show the video or something. Oh. I said. I said that. I said the video was really, really good, and I liked it, I said. But, because he was like, we should watch it on the program. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't know if Alex would want to watch it on the program. I mean, I'm down. It's it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm down. It's, it's fine. It's already live to Channel 29, I think. It's what? It's already, Tom Water City Council and, and Lisa City Council and Olympia City Council are all taped already and put on the public access but on the government channel not on this channel that we're on channel 22 is the, like the yeah yeah i usually i'll catch them i'll catch the tom water council uh meetings on tctv once in a while but i watch them on on their on tctv online mm-hmm. but you're going to be on that one already so it's already on yeah it's already up there it's the august 20th tom water city council meeting you can go check it out i just like basically get up there with my mountain board and just like tell them that Tell them about the club that's in their town, basically. 
five years running, and you know we were like in the parade this year, and yeah. got the road adopted in the club's name, and basically we're just, there, you know there's just, there's a little mini scene in Tumwater, so figured it'd be good to just like holler at him about that real quick before you know before anything really gets rolling on the skate park project. You you had the mountain board like with you? Or yeah, I brought it in so they could see it. They got a freaking kick out of it too. Seemed that I got, you know, they asked me a couple questions. I was trying to be brief, you know, not yeah. waste everybody's time, and then they just kept asking me questions like, oh, blah, blah, blah. So they were interested, so it was pretty nice. They asked you about uh, finances? No, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after a while. Yeah. No, mm. but it was just a quick intro. I just went in under public comment and just mm. let them know what's up and the. Mountain Boards Northwest appreciates some water and hopefully some water appreciates having an interesting club in their town, you know, and, and they do. Was there uh, anybody else in the public comments? There was somebody, I forget what she was talking about though. I don't remember, yeah, there was somebody else was speaking in public comment too. I don't remember what her deal was exactly. I have no idea. Must have not been, well, it was lighting. I'm trying to remember, but yeah, I don't know. I can't can't remember. I don't think it was anything like really crucial. I always want to go complain to the Olympia City Council about the alley by the fountain by the like the well. Oh, you know? they get an earful about that place. Yeah. But I I feel like maybe I have a different angle on it, which is that. I just want to walk through it and have it be an alley, and I don't care about it being a park. Like, because I have to go around the block every time I want to get water. I'm on foot or a bike. I want them to make a path that's just like a five-foot alley, like along the side of the crypt there. I don't care if it's actually a park, because I remember when it was an alley. It used to just be an alley. Yeah. And, uh, it was better back then. Yeah. The city kind of got themselves, I mean, they're kind of up to their ass because they tried to do something nice and, like, buy this piece so they keep the well open for everybody. They have to put a little park together because now they own this liability, you know. Mm. So they're trying to do something nice, but it's like the park just gets, like, just decimated by people just smoke and crack and, like, beating each other up. And, I mean, some of the, some of the video footage... It's pretty fun to watch, but in reality, it's it's kind of a jokey park. It's like makes the city look bad, and they really kind of tried hard. I think their heart was in the right place. It used to not be city property. It was just right. It was like private. Who owns the alleys? Or I don't know who 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 owned it prior, but the city bought it because mm -hmm. I think because. I don't know, it was like up for sale or something. And so they, they, people were like, didn't want to lose access to the artesian well. So no. the city picked it up and then put a little park together. But dude, it's, man, it's, they just like, they can't even manage it. And it's like a block away from city hall and they're just like, what do we do? Well, it should be nothing. Why can't it just be open? That's what. Yeah. I don't know, it's like if the city, if the city owns it and it, they don't do anything with it and then something happens on it, they're getting sued though, you know? They're liable. Hmm. They're liable if something, what happens in, in the alley? Isn't that like, just like the street? Like you're not sue the city like you're in, the, you're in a car accident or something. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I mean, so they own it though. Like, so, yeah, if somebody gets hurt or something happens, they're liable as hell. But yet, it's like, I don't know, the Olympia is weird. Like, the council's got the cops on some directive to just, like, leave people alone. Like, dude, I mean, I watch cops walk past people with needles just hanging out of their arms. Like, you know, it's like they just walk right by, which, I mean, I don't know what they're supposed to do. I mean, I'm not advocating for, like, jailing drug addicts or anything. Yeah. But, like, I mean, the, dude, it's, it's rough. It's, Can't a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wild dynamic. I think if they spent their time like uh, stopping needle drug users, 
then they would be doing nothing else. Yeah, they would. And the jail would be full. Any time for anything else. The jail would be completely full. I think they should just walk around with nightsticks, and when they see somebody stabbing themselves <laughs> with a freaking <laughs> geezer, they just club them on their fucking head. Just whack them once and tell them to get the hell out of here. No. Like Bam. A, like here, just like a spray bottle, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like a, right just, like, just like water, though. Yeah. No. Hey. Like a, yeah. Yeah. Just like a cat, for like they do with cats or something. Yeah. Uh. All right, well, it's uh, Saturday. Maybe we can take a look at the phones. Who's on there? We got a couple of messages. Ooh. Oh, Mark, the guitar player. Ooh. He just left a bunch of them. Oh, boy. Yeah. Does he leave messages when he's been, you know, on the bottle? Uh, he is staunchly against the bottle. Oh. Yeah. He, like, won't even go to a bar. Like, he's Mark the Guitar Player, and his music is pretty good. I actually like it. It's, uh, pretty wild. He's, like, got this drum machine, and he's got, like, almost, like, hair metal style guitar. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoa. But, uh, he won't play at a venue. Like, I tried to invite him to play or get him, like, a gig or something, and he won't go to the bar because he's afraid that he's going to end up drinking, is what he says. So I'm like, Mark, can't you just go to the bar and not drink? And he says no. Maybe he's had some bad experiences. Yeah. Um, and low self-control. I guess he was in a band, and his band uh, was doing drinking and drugging too hard for him, and he had to quit the band, too. So. Ooh. Yeah. So this is all, this is all just how he is. Cause, yeah, the reason I ask is because his messages are all crazy, and then when you bring it up, when you're talking to him, he's like, has no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think Mr. Ginsburg drinks that much either. So people are like, are these people drunk? And it's like, they're not drunk. They're wild, I guess. They're just wild, natural wild. They don't need the booze. Yeah. They're just un, uh, un uninhibited. Yeah, that's good. I got this caller that keeps on calling, and they won't stop calling. <laughs> and they keep on calling, and they keep on calling. Mm -hmm. And right now they're beeping in, and I'm trying to talk, and I can't talk because they're beeping in. And it's really pissing me off, and it's pissing my fucking head off. I'm what? getting pissed off. Bye. I hate that too. Those assholes call me <laughs> relentlessly too. Like you're getting, like, what telemarketers or? I don't know what it is. It's just j spam, junk, like whatever calls from the most randomest numbers imaginable. You've got a cruise from Carnival. Well, they're offering you a cruise or? Probably just crap like that. You ever answer? No way. Is there people? Dude, no way. On the old rugged cross <laughs> lived a man with a donut and he had such a good time eating that donut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you live with anybody? Yeah, he lives, he's got a girlfriend who lives with him. Rebecca, she always says, uh, love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, love the program, love you guys. Uh, whenever you get on the phone with her. Rebecca, hi. Love you. Um, uh, whenever I get those uh, people, which is not very often because I don't have a regular cell phone, I have a Google phone, or my personal number too, but if I ever did get one, remember I used to just try to talk to them for as long as I could and then be like, keep asking them more more questions until they they were like trying to get off the phone with me <laughs> they're like well I gotta go now like wait how about your kids you have any kids <laughs> you have any kids uh, but I have if you didn't notice a very high tolerance for just people saying things and I don't care that much about much that what, what it is and I just want to talk to them on the phone forever I would do that with the uh, 
the people at the door, too, like religious people. Mm -hmm. I would That's invite fine. invite them in, <laughs> and then just keep try to keep them there. Just be like, oh, here, what can I offer you something? Just like keep hanging out, trying to hang, get them to hang out for as long as they could, and then and that's all they want to leave. They want to leave. And they're like, I have more questions, though. <laughs> Wait, there's more that I need to ask yeah. you. One time these kids stopped by and oh, the Mormons at my house when the program was at the house mm -hmm. and I invited them on the program and they said that they had to ask their leader or whatever and the leader said no. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> yeah. So like one sec, let me text him. He said no, we can't. My name is Mark. I live in a park. <laughs> what? I am a dope man. I guess the dope is the dope is the dope is the dope. What's going on here? Hey, everybody have a good time watching the Your Daily Hour with me. Mark lives in a park. He lives in a park. He lives everywhere. Ah. Ah. He should do voice acting for some like children's show where he's like some sort of like nice monster. Hmm. Like Austin Power Rangers. <laughs> I'm Doctor Madman. <laughs> All right, let's call him back. Here we go. Mark. Yeah, Mark lives in Lacey. You can answer, Mark. Maybe, no, no. maybe he's at the Sam Pan. Mm, you drinking? That's in Lacey. Yeah, he looks like I'm sorry. This mailbox has not yet been set up by the subscriber. Please try again later. Goodbye. Now, who doesn't set up their voice mailbox? People. Yeah, I don't think Mark knows how to do that. Cause it's like, yeah, Mark doesn't know anything about computers a l even a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> it pretty much tells you what to do. Yeah. But. Uh, you go to the stamp pan? No, you I never been? have. Mm. I Jeez, just. I guess I didn't put anything there. I heard that karaoke. Yeah, I heard the new karaoke and the, like, sometimes there's, like, hip-hop and stuff there. Seems like a fun place. I don't know, yeah, it's, like, in, like, it's kind of a nondescript place in a nondescript strip mall, and it's, like, in yeah. the corner. Yeah. I don't know. So weird. Did you ever go to the Rang Dong? No. I used to go to the Rang Dong over there on the west side, um, kind of by the grocery outlet, like, under the bank. Like, it's uh, now it's a furniture store. Oh, no, I didn't go there, no. That place. They used to have a pizza place right there, though, right? Two for, like, a little bit? I think that was after. Oh. Before it was a furniture, like, after Ring Dong, before furniture store. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That place looked like Vietnam downstairs. At least that's what I thought. Maybe, I don't know, I've never been to Vietnam. Me either. But it seemed like you were in Vietnam when you were in there, in the basement. That's cool. Yeah. It's cool to, like, I don't know, like, maybe this is a pretty colonial thing to say as I'm thinking it and about to vo vocalize it, but it's kind of cool when, like, to go to a restaurant that, you know, is espousing a culture and then to have it be, like, really immersive, that's yeah. really fun. Yeah. I think so. I think that's... I don't think that's colonial. No, I guess not. Yeah, not so, not so bad. It's almost anti-colonial. I guess so. It's culturally accepting. Right here. It it came out better than I thought it would. Uh, yeah, he, he changed like, it. Just up. let me. No, it, just, it just happened. Disclaimer, just in case. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy. How are ya? I'm doing good. Um, uh, let's see. 
working at the house, getting things done. I'm about to actually go to Safeway. Safeway. We're here with uh, the Mountain Boarders. Hey. Oh, Freddy. hi, Mountain Boarders. Hi, Freddie. Hey. What's up? What are you getting at Safeway? Let me guess. Ice cream? Uh, Sunny Delight? No, I sh maybe I should get ice cream now. Uh, soap. Dish, dish soap. I'm going to get... Oh. Well, Jen's uh, got to guess first. Toilet oh. paper. Ooh, you're probably going to get... Whoa, who guessed toilet paper? That me. Was, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> uh, I think you're going to be getting some bananas. Sure, I'll get some bananas. You guys, you guys are helping me write my list here. <laughs> I was just saying stuff uh, that we want. How's your, yeah. uh, how's your hand? I forgot got stuck oh, by it's, bees. It's still slightly, it's not that swollen anymore. It's pretty much back to normal. Well, how did that occur? Uh, in my backyard, there's some ground bees, although uh, I'm not sure if they're either ground bees or ground hornets, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, today I put like a upside down uh, bowl over the top of their nest in an attempt to like identify them, but it didn't, it was not a like clean cover, so um, they're still flying around. Yeah, those are, those are pesky. Those types of bees what? are gnarly. They're, it's not, dude, the ones in the ground, I think, are hornets. They can be, there's wasps that do that too. Oh, okay. But. Either way, dude, wasps or hornets getting stung by either one of those is way worse than the yellow jacket. Yeah, if they're, what are, like certain wasps like look kind of crazy, and other ones just look kind of like bees, I think, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they get all long and their legs are all long and stuff. It's not the regular, it's not like a traditional looking wasp, like, like it's kind of looks like a bee, like maybe it is a bee, I don't know. Uh, might be a, it might be a hornet then. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a wasp so that I can kill them with impunity, but, um, I have, I, I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're pollinating bees, I think especially because they're only slightly aggressive. The, the, was it put, scary to put the bowl on there? Um, no, because I saw where the hole was and there weren't that many coming out of the hole at the time, so mm. it wasn't scary. You know that mosquitoes are pollinators too? What is? Mosquitoes. No. They're pollinators, and you know what eats mosquitoes? Wasps. Oh, weird. I don't know what to do with that information. Around and around we go. I was hung up on the impunity of their massacre and thinking about where the, your moral compass lies with, you know, just the impunity part. You know what I mean? Like, so certain bugs yeah. it's okay to kill, certain bugs it's not okay to kill. Right, you're saying that they're all a part of the ecosystem, and so you're harming everything, no matter which thing it is you kill. Uh, I hadn't gotten to a formalized assertion of opinion yet. I was just kind of working through some stuff, that's all. I, oh, yeah. I heard somewhere that if there were no more mosquitoes, that it wouldn't do that much. Like, in, to negatively impact the environment, that's what they think. Oh, really? It would yeah. be fine? Yeah. I, oh, I didn't, like, yeah, no. I, it's hard for me to imagine them being, like, uh, pollinators in the... Yeah, in, like, a heavy scent, they, I guess. They eat more than blood? They eat plant stuff? Uh, or, like, maybe they yeah. act, land on stuff? But bees are, like, actively looking for flowers, and I think they're probably better pollinators, but... Oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe mosquitoes do it a little bit. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You know what's happening right now? Oh, it's too late, I guess, for the viewers, but um, on Saturdays, it's this really good show on Chaos called Saturday Night Selection. It's like electronic dance music on Chaos. It's really good. Whoa. Hmm. Every Saturday? Every Saturday, yeah, from... Uh, it's like 8 to 10, I guess, because it's like 9 right now and started 
before that. So that's one of the reasons nice. that I'm like going to get a Safeway where I am, so I can like have it while I drive in the car. Mm. Nice. Nice. Yeah. When do they do that Excuse All the Blood show? Isn't that like Saturday night or something? Oh, I think it was last night. Oh, Friday night. Friday night. Oh, that, we, we that show is awesome. We listened to Chaos on the way back um, yesterday, and it was just like, Whoa. Yeah, you should send in um, Dwellers to Excuse All the Blood. You like, hear some local black metal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. We just need like uh, a good a road construction going on up ahead. Oh, Henderson. Oh, what the hell? They put like a they put a roundabout on Henderson. I can't tell if this is an all-way stop or what. Weird. There's a new roundabout. Yeah, too many roundabouts. Not enough roundabouts. They love these oh, things. Oh yeah. People people don't know how to navigate them. Oh, but I do. Go learn. Yeah, but this, this roundabout currently has a uh, stop sign above it, or a stoplight. How many, anyway, yeah, how many people have weird. to get in accidents before they learn? Like, <laughs> maybe I, it's old drivers. Maybe new drivers know how to do it because they're taught in it. I don't think. I've, oh, oh, there's a new thing in Hawks Prairie too. Like this crazy, like yeah. way to get. That thing is crazy. I don't know. It gets you back on the freeway or something. Yeah, that's like on CCTV. There's like a there's a CG version of you driving. Um, yeah. This route. And it makes no sense. Like I'm it watching it. I'm like, I'm like, what is this about? It's supposed to be like this informative commercial or something, and it like does not. Is it the how to drive through a roundabout thing? You no, know, it's how to drive. Like there's this crazy new intersection that they're building. That's like some. It is crazy because you're, like, driving on the left side of the road, like, towards oncoming traffic, it seems like, sort of. Yeah. Uh, like, I think I, think I saw like a, a diagram of that, but, yeah, it looked pretty pretty wild. Oh. There's a roundabout near where I work, and there's always accidents there, like, every day. Which accidents? roundabout? Really? People are crashing? Out in uh, Hawks Prairie, yeah. Yeah. Well, Whoa. people in Lacey are stupid, though. <laughs> no offense. People who learn from Lacey go through, through Lacey too, though. And the, being in Lacey just makes them stupid. Well, you're stuck around like part of your environment is all these like flappers behind the wheel driving around like flappers. You know, like I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to describe that. I already said idiots. It's basically a yeah, synonym. Yeah, all right. I mean, I can, I can. Yeah, I can tell by the context of what a flapper would be, but I don't even... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I made that one up. something from the 20s. Yeah, like the flapper. That's like a, that's like a type of dress. I mean, like someone, <laughs> like a flailer, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Like, never yeah, mind, forget right. to say anything. <laughs> Dude, roundabouts are awesome, though. I can't believe that there's so many accidents in them because it's, like, pretty easy. People just go to, like, they're going, on that one in particular, it's like you're going, like, 50 and then you gotta hit Whoa. the roundabout, and then you gotta go like 20 in the roundabout, but nobody does, so everybody's just like zooming 50 miles through this thing anyway. Oh, so people who are just stabbing through like cause the problems? Yeah, they just don't wanna slow down, or they don't know they're supposed to slow down because you're already going, the speed limit is a certain amount, and then, so then you gotta slow down. And they're like, oh, there. look. Yeah, I don't need to stop or slow down, I just go around. Mm hmm. Yeah. Are they losing control, or are other people going slow and they're just hitting them or something? I don't know. There's so many of them. Rear probably ending. Some of both, yeah. Probably. Yeah. It's a rear ending, and then it gets all. There's an accident. People can't get out of there, and then it gets super clogged up. It's yeah. so clogged up right there. Yeah. Uh, I guess people are in a big hurry. What's wrong with stoplights? Like, what happened? Stoplights are really inefficient, dude. The traffic circles came first. They were traffic circles are original parts of roadways. So they... Oh, I see, because even when you're, like, not, when there's no one else there, you still stop. Is that yeah. why they're inefficient? Yeah, but you're, so you're saying we're regressing, though, because it used to be this one, and then we changed it. I'm saying, yeah. okay, the, the re I mean, regression is, like, has a qualitative element. I don't think it's, like, I don't think it's regression in that sense. Like, yeah. we're going back to the way, like, they're still around, you know what yeah. I mean? They're, 
but like traffic signals just take up a lot more time, cause yeah. more congestion. Oh yeah, are they more expensive to build? That's, a, that's the question I guess I want to know. Is it more expensive to build a stoplight with like detection technology where it will like pass you through if no one is there? Or is it more expensive to build a whole roundabout? It's probably no electronics in a roundabout, the I guess. Roundabout, because you're just putting down some dirt, like building it up, and then laying like concrete and asphalt on it. It's probably a lot cheaper. Yeah. And then you don't, you can make it look really nice too, because a lot of them they'll just have like an island in the center, but they'll put like trees and bushes and everything in there, so they can at least make it look a bit more natural. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure they which is... that's actually usually like a spot where they put public art because. At least in Olympia, they every time they may do like a construction project officially from the city, um, you get you have to like include some sort of art or like the art place, art people, art commission gets some money. Yeah, I'm not sure which way is more expensive though. Maybe the roundabout in the sense that they might need to take up more land, like to have it like a little bit wider. Mm, yeah. But the technology and the poles and stuff like that, yeah, probably save save on that. I'm not sure. That's a good question. Well, think about the lanes, though, because instead of it being all open where you'd normally go through, like, the center of the roundabout, it's just going to be closed in. I'm in the Safeway now. It sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel, though, because oh, the, the fan, fan is blowing right on the iPod. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Uh, how's the production line going? It's good. Kate, the production, and actually the only production person at TCTV for the um, playback, is gone. Mm. She is on, I don't know where, she's going on some trip or something. And uh, Spencer left and now he's like doing, I guess, uh, some kind of, oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me, I just sneezed. Whoa. Um, uh, he's doing electrical engineering now, and he's not there. So, uh, we turned everything in, and we're pretty far ahead. Um, running into a few little minor technical issues with the conversions at TCTV still. I think one of their computers is not, like, it's, it's kind of dumb, it's like broken, I don't know. Mm. Anyway, whatever. Um, all in all, though, we're doing pretty good. 11:30 and 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. We're all set up and um, playing uh, uh, all the time. So I, I never told you, but John Webster, his phone is down already. The new phone. Oh, what? That, that happened faster than last time. Yeah. That's very fast. Yeah, and it's like what I, I don't know. I called the number now, and it says like it goes like doo doo doo. Your number has not been corrected. The number blah blah. You know. What? Yeah, it's That's really crazy. weird. Why? Why does this keep happening with them specifically? Yeah, I don't know how it happens, but you know where? Do you remember like? He's actually an alien. Yeah, he said it's like fair, like clear view or fair view or something. Uh. Oh. Mm, no, he almost man. We should have gone over there when. When he invited us at the fair, yeah, yeah. now we won't really get, like, talk to him again until um, the fair. And that's why I think we can, like, look, because I don't want to, when, when he answered the phone, it was, like, the people, the workers there, and they would say, like, hello, Clairview, or whatever it was called, so we can go and look at the episodes and then find them. Oh, yeah. And then go show up, and then we can just go to his There's some sort of assisted living situation? Yeah. Yeah. And did, was there any other sort of, like, lead up to it? What do, you, what? what do you mean? Like, was there any sort of like, like, he wasn't becoming agitated or anything, was he? Uh, some what? days he was agitated, some days he wasn't. But the whole, the whole phone system is de is, is gone. You think they're like blocking? Uh -oh. <laughs> We've been blocked, like. Right. Sometimes I think that his work, the workers, don't want, don't like it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And uh, I've already tried to reach out to John. Like, I know I, like, John watches the program. 
reaching yeah, out, yeah. but it never worked in the past. So they're trying to they're trying to um, isolate. Well, I shouldn't say that. Probably not. Probably they're not doing the doing conspiracy that. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> they're doing they're doing bad things. They're trying to keep them away from us. <laughs> you can't do that. It's like Mr. Ginch is the teacher with the teacher or something. Yeah. They're trying to keep us away. <laughs> How's that? You inside a Safeway now? Yeah, I got the bananas, potato chips, <laughs> goldfish so far. What kind of chips? Um, yeah. What kind of potato chips? I kind chips? of want to get some kind of like microwavable food that I can eat tonight because I'm hungry and I don't want to do any effort. Ooh, get a lasagna. Or like a can of something. I might get a can of something. Now I got to figure out which toilet paper to get because. Oh. Uh. Like so many toilet paper. Probably are depends awful. on like what you're Charmin. gonna eat out of that can tonight. <laughs> what? Yeah, I gotta eat, eat the can. Oh, uh, you're gonna eat whatever you eat Just is gonna depend on what can. Time. Yeah. Um, what kind of potato chips are you getting? What? What chips are you getting? Oh, I'm getting signature select potato chips. What flavor? Regular. Oh yeah, I got some signature select chips in my Classic. backpack. They're sour cream and onion flavor. Ooh, there you go. Oh man, I don't know. I really hate choosing toilet paper. Uh, I used to like having a. I used to go to like Costco when I had a membership, and that was pretty. Cool. Oh, look at this open nature. That sounds good. It's 100% recycled paper, two ply mm. chlorine free. What can you do? That seems pretty good. Is there toilet paper full of chlorine? I I what? I uh, take either toilet. I I like. Take the toilet paper from here, or from my grandmother. <laughs> That's where my toilet paper comes yeah. from. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, I yeah. What I really want to do is get a bidet. Then I wouldn't have to use so much toilet paper. And then I guess you're using water. Or? Yeah, water. Yeah. It just doesn't I'm seem... I'm getting all these Instagram ads and everything for those. It's like... Oh, yeah. That, that's, that just means you've been looking at it online, though. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, the, oh, yeah. There was this yesterday. The only story I know about a bidet is that the, the, from Shape UJ where they tried to build a bidet and then it ended up causing a lot of problems. What yeah. You go it, didn't through install, a, it didn't install it well, though. I think I could probably install it well. When you go through a lot yeah. of like hand, like extra hand towels drying your bum hole off, though, I mean, wouldn't that like end up being a lot more laundry? Like you gotta like instead of using a couple pieces of toilet paper that you flush down, now you got a fucking whole towel that you just like wiped your hole with, and like <laughs> you'd have like one laundry day that was just no fun. You know, it's all butt towels. Fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about butt towels, huh, Freddy? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't want to have to deal with the laundry, you know, like laundry afterwards. I guess. You just get or a, like a, cleaning a it. fan. You have a little fan next to the toilet. Just go, just go sponge. Sponge? Yeah. Sponge on the stick. Who's gonna ring out the sponge? Not well, me. Yeah, it's a clean water. Your uh, under will dry out. You just have a little moisture. Yeah. It's probably okay. Mostly, if it's like you, it's like inside the toilet, right? So it shoots while you're still sitting. It's a separate bowl. It is. You have to like you, you gotta like, hop over onto a separate separate bowl. No, I thought it's inside of the the same bowl. Maybe they I, have they have toilets that shoot you. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's all it shoots you and it dries you if I remember right too. Oh. That'd be all right. Uh -huh. Our our, uh, <coughs> our friend's house, they they put one in, but it, they didn't install it very well, and it was leaking, and then um, yeah, it was caused, like, it dripped through the ceiling yeah. all the way. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, like, it was like dripping no. into the basement, but it was you know just water, like tap water, it wasn't uh, yeah, uh, toilet yeah. water, yeah, not poop water. But um, the guy who installed it, like I think to this day, refuses to admit that it was the uh, the day. He's like, no, no, it was not. Not the bidet. What does he think it was, or what does he claim know. it was? It's a, even it's a, a general a general leak. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like? Isn't that just use more water? To oh just man, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about buying a freezer pizza, but my co 
coworker or my housemate works at the pizzeria. And that's weird because he could just maybe bring me pizza, but he's not working today, so. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, I ate pizza. It was pretty good. Just just add your ex- extra toppings to it and then throw some, like, barbecue sauce on it. And boom. Oh, yeah. If you're not oh, yeah. Gonna... Definitely you can make it good, but the question is, you know, it's weird. I think it's so weird to get a freezer pizza. Ever since I moved into this house with people who work at the pizzeria, I just, like, haven't bought pizzas from the grocery store, which I used to do all the time. Yeah. You know what I like to do? You just get some, uh, p- get a potato and, uh, get, what? Like a, get a potato and a piece of chicken or a piece of meat or something, stick it in the oven, uh-huh. stick, just stick it in the oven on a thing, wait 20 minutes, put some salt on there, that's food. You don't need to really? get the prepackaged chicken? stuff. It's like, if you get a bag of chicken, like, I like getting the boneless chicken thighs, a couple of potatoes, and like a, maybe carrots or something. And then you just put it on a baking sheet, put some oil on it, stick it in the oven for like, uh, like 40 minutes or whatever. That works. And then it's There's food. a piece of chicken and a potato? Yeah. And a, how high do you set the oven? Uh, maybe like 375, 425, something like that. I always look it up every time, but you just put it on there and then you just leave it. And then it's basically instant food. I mean, you gotta wait, but it's like your homemade food, but you don't put any effort in it. You just put mm. some salt on it. And it's pretty good, I think. That does sound good. Sold. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how all those things are like, that reminds me of that oatmeal, like instant oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so amazing. It's like, food is like much easier than they want you to think. I think restaurants and frozen companies want you to think. They're like, oh. Oh, well, I guess it's that's like true. I mean, every time you work at a food place, you're like, wow, this is easy. And people are paying us a lot of money to do this. Like, yeah. even in the coffee shop. We're yeah. like, wow, it's pretty much all just coffee and milk, and people are really uh, getting so weird, yeah. different, calling it different things, and yeah, that uh, pretty well. chicken, huh? I wonder if I have chicken. Do you have chicken? I might have to buy chicken and a potato. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna record Ooh, a message. Ooh, with more seltzers. That's good. To get some of those seltzers. Anyway, sorry, I'm just talking while I'm shopping. No, that's good. You're making me want to go to the grocery store too, though. Now, uh, I'm thinking yeah, about this awesome, cream. awesome food. I'm recording message of the future. Okay. Hey, future, that's the past. Hey, future. Grocery hey, store. Hey, you hungry? Just put a piece of chicken and some a potato in the oven. And you got roasted chicken. Yep. It's that food. Is it's easy. probably better. We were talking about roundabouts. Yeah, and uh, yeah, chicken. Four hundred twenty-five degrees. Gummy uh, bears. What were we saying before? We called Freddy too. Um. Uh, I don't remember now. All right, bye, future. Bye. <laughs> I have like no. Uh, I have no idea what it was. I gotta find I the chicken. The, I didn't even find the chicken section. Ooh, chicken pot pie. <laughs> yeah, chicken pot pies are good too. Oh, but it was about good. the alley. Oh, the alley, yeah, we're it talking about the, 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 the well and stuff. All right, Freddie, you want to you keep shopping? You want to stay on the line? No, I, I, bet, I bet I could focus a little better on my shopping if I stop talking. All right, thanks, Freddie. We'll because talk to you later. Do Don't forget that ice cream, right, Bye-bye. Thanks for calling. All right, bye. Ice cream. Future Freddie will be upset with past Freddie if he forgets to buy ice cream. Yep. Yeah, ice cream is good. Yeah, what's uh, your go-to? It's like, what, what if you, this, you want, like, uh, it's, you're drinking this thing and you say, what are you, what is that thing you're drinking? You say, I'm drinking heavy cream with sugar and in it. You're drinking that? That's crazy, right? When you say, well, now I froze it and I'm eating it and that's okay. Yeah. Do, mm-hmm. know? Then yeah. it's all good. Yeah. I like heavy cream in, like, coffee. Yeah. What about the straight need, like, though, and with sugar oh, and vanilla? Never do that. Yeah, but then and I don't even. I can't even do. It's very rare that I would do. Like actually, one time I bought. The only reason why I figured out I liked it is I accidentally bought heavy cream once. I thought I just bought a little thing of milk, uh-huh. and it wasn't. It was like heavy cream, and I was like, all right, whatever. But it made it super creamy and awesome, and I was like, all right, I can do this now. I mean, it is very good. And I also did it with oatmeal, and it was so delicious. Best oatmeal ever, heavy cream. Yeah. Oatmeal. 
boom, instant. If you eat heavy cream, drink instead of milk, it'll, I guess, make you fat or something. <laughs> or make you oh, yeah. sick, probably. Makes it, makes you think that it's more delicious. Yeah. I should probably drink heavy cream rather than regular milk, like even with cereal and stuff, and try to get a little bit of fat going around my bones. Yeah. That's a good start. But not buttermilk. Oof. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. buttermilk is like um, fermented or something, isn't it? It's good in pancakes. It's <laughs> disgusting if you drink it by itself. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, uh, my God. It smells kind of good. No. Isn't it basically old milk? I don't know exactly I think buttermilk is. Is, a, is like slightly fermented or like rotten, like purposefully rotten. In the I think they just put butter in it. No, I think it's old. I th that's what they put in ranch, like buttermilk ranch. That's like the base of ranch. Yeah. But I think it's, I think it's just like milk that has gone like slightly bad in a like controlled way. But that's also what like cheese. And uh, I don't know, cause like the way you make yogurt. butter is by like taking a bunch of raw milk, right? And, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mixing it up to separate it. So maybe you just stop early before you get all the butter separated. But that wouldn't, that would leave it as cream though, not yeah. buttermilk with the weird. I think, I think that buttermilk and butter are like not that as connected as the names would lead you to think. Like it's just called buttermilk, but it's not like, it doesn't have anything to do with like the product Liars. of butter. I'm pretty sure. I don't know about that. Cause I think, I think make buttermilk, I know somebody who, well, okay, this is like somebody I work with who are, is like a little, a little crazy. Um, but they say that they get, they, like, we have milk and then they get, they, they take it home if it's gone bad because they say they're going to make ranch out of it. Because they say that's what buttermilk is. So that's where I have learned about what buttermilk is. It's from, just expired <laughs> milk? <laughs> yeah, that's uh. what, but, um, this person is kind of crazy too. That is exactly what it smells like and tastes like. So uh, if it does, then if it if I heard it, it tastes like it, smells like it. It's it, uh, what what's the saying they say? What's the thing that smells and tastes like a? If the shoe fits, or if the foo shits, then wear it. It's something like if it smells. I don't know what the thing is that it smells. That it's like I don't know if it's a snake or something. It's like somebody is like a bad. So it's like the, the it's a, uh, what is it called, an idiom? Uh, I'm getting, uh, it's like, I don't know a lot of these things, but it's like, say, if it smells like this thing and tastes like this thing, it's probably that thing. But it's like, it smells like, a, maybe it's like a skunk or a snake. If it smells like a skunk and it tastes like a skunk, it's a skunk, and it looks like a skunk, it's probably a skunk. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. If it, it's... If it walks like a duck and quacks like a oh, duck, yeah, it's maybe, probably a duck. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you, uh, did you accidentally drink buttermilk or something? Oh, uh, yeah. My grandpa was drinking some, and he was like, all right, here, here's a glass. You should try it, too. He was just drinking it as a beverage? Just yeah, like, yeah. He liked it. He likes it. Is that like a regular thing? To it sucks. <laughs> I can't. I like tried some and I was like, oh, dude, no, yeah. no dice. He <laughs> also, he, he also loves fruitcake though, too. Yeah, that's weird. What even is fruitcake? I'm not. Dude, you should ask my wife. She makes it and it's actually, hers isn't terrible, but she does still put uh, um, bourbon in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, dude, I don't know. It's like that. I don't know. It's like, it's kind of almost like gingerbread, you know, it's like spice cake kind of a yeah. deal. I'm not real into it. And then it's just like that, only then with like more bitter. Cause yeah. there's like uh, the alcohol cooked in there, or brandy or something. And then it's like, it's like somehow like a sticky. You put right? gelatin yeah. in it. Oh like yeah? A, yeah, it's like, that's like what makes it that hardness. And it's got those really weird like neon fruit things. And you I don't use know like the fruit cup fruits. Like, oh, is that what that that's, is? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. what they use. It's like basically that same stuff, and then mm -hmm. you drain all of that out, and then that's the filler, See, and then you like put gelatin in with the fruit, 
and then the rest of it's like a cake batter. My mom used to make it, and then you just mix it all together and like throw it in and bakes all into that, and yeah, it tastes super bitter. Bitter, huh? Oh yeah. Well, cause you bite into a cake and you're expecting like banana bread. I mean, it looks like yeah. banana bread or zucchini bread or something good, you know, and then you bite in there and it's like all spicy and kind of sour and bitter. And, like, I thought fruity. it'd be super su- sweet. It's not. No. It's so counterintuitive. So it's, but it's sticky. It's still sticky and looks like it's like soaked in like a syrup or something though. It lo- that's what it looks like. It's like very mm-hmm. sugary. Yep. Yeah. But then that stuff is not, I always assumed that, that the glaze was a sugar syrup. Oh, it is, but it's yucky. But it's still bitter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, how is it? And if people, like, don't know how to make it, mom, sorry, calling you out right now. Oh. Yeah. But it sucked. My grandma's was better. The one my wife makes is okay, but it's just in general, I'm not down with spice cake or like, yeah, not real, not real down with that. I take a piece of banana bread though. Yeah, I like banana bread a lot. I love banana bread. Uh, it's called my grandma. Yeah. Yeah. See if she'll make you some banana bread. Grandma, make me some banana bread. Banana bread is a good product because you, uh, you, it's what you do when you have old bananas. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or any bananas for me, because I don't like to eat just bananas very much. Well, you have to wait. They're supposed to be like pretty much black. Look, they look like they're not good to eat when you make banana bread out of them. Okay. So it's kind of like maybe buttermilk too. Hello, this is Mike. Oh, going. Grandma has been answering the phone. Even I think yesterday she answered the phone. Call back as soon as you can. Thank you. Hold on. Hello, Grandma. Are you there? Are you asleep? Uh, you can call me back. Okay, bye. Yeah, well, we're getting down to it. It's, uh, look at this. I know you were here yesterday, so we should look at these messages in the past. Let's do it. Because we only got about four minutes left today. Ooh. Fruitcake's very, like, Christmas, right? It's like... Mm-hmm. Now you have to try it. I've seen it, but I have, uh, just, it's... Imagine, like, here's a good way to describe it. Imagine a really, really spicy gingerbread with, like, Thanksgiving Oh, Channel A is working. There. What? It's working? Channel A is working. What the heck? It's back? Is it back? Oh, that's, oh. That's pretty wild. No way. Uh, why? I don't understand. I'm over here. Hey, it's, uh, look at thing. that. It's Up back. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, Channel, Channel A. A. It's like very in and out. I really don't oh, really understand it. I don't know how I have like... It's just got such a bad rep that I think on a seafood kick I just like don't go for it. That's wise. Yep. That's yucky. Just eat chocolate chip cookies hey, and brownies. Future the past. Tiramisu is good. Yeah, it's got it's alcohol. It's kind of weird too, though. It's all right. It's at least yeah, sweet. Exploding head yeah. syndrome. Yeah. Yep. Uh, exploding. Exploding head syndrome. The booms. Uh, talked a lot about the bus. A lot about the bus. Yeah. The, how'd you sleep last night, man? It's good. No it's one like saw been me. Like on and, no, it's been like on and off. It's been really annoying. You heard about exploding head syndrome, Alex? I told him about the okay. booms. Hey, yeah. future test the past. Hey, future. Hey, you hungry? Put a piece of chicken and some a potato in the oven. Yeah. Yeah, roasted chicken. That's actually been too hot for that, though. Better. We're talking about roundabouts and, uh, yeah, chicken. Imagine and trying to do a cooking show in here. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just, just pouring sweat. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. I would make right, taco future. soup right away. <laughs> and I just like would be like sweaty, and then I would eat some of the ingredients, so then my mouth would be hot, which makes your head kind of, and neck kind of sweat. And <laughs> you had the same shirt as uh, Carl Sr. back there. Yeah, I know, me and my homeboy. Yeah. That's right. Uh, that. Yeah, well, when it gets cooled down again, I can get back to eating that uh, uh, the roasted chicken I've been calling it. 
But sounds very. It's like, oh, I ate roasted chicken with uh, with some potatoes and carrots. And it sounds like you're very fancy. Al mm. dente. Yeah. But all you did was put some chicken in the oven with mm. some salt. Yes, I had a uh, salted chicken. I had a deconstructed chicken and dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that means you didn't even have it on a plate. You just ate it straight on the on the tray because right. it's. Oh yeah, it's super cool now. I, I put it on a piece of tin foil and then I just pick up the tin foil and put it on a plate. Nope, not even. Just you just make you make a plate out of the tin foil. Yeah. Even even cooler. Thanks, uh, Merck, for those messages. Uh, what did he say? I don't know. He's like. He said some crazy stuff yeah. as usual. He. Just yelling about something, man. Thanks, Mark Freddy. Lives in a park. Thanks, General Alex. I, I'm Mark, and I live, I live in, in a park. park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for being here today. Yeah. That's no the problem. end of the show. We made it. We did it. It is credits. It's time. Me and Carl Senior over here just snuggling away. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. He's always tickling my neck. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's the day. We're on TCT Film 22, 1130 and 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah, why do you should be on dot com? Go to it. 360-336-304. Call me a message. Get on TV. Call it. 360-836. One nice damn number three. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. Oh, yeah. TCTV, La Baby, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Park, Condra, I'm up here, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, and viewers, it's you are watching. Thank you. Thank you, viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah dog. dog. Now call the show. Bye. Or just show up.